All right, well, Huey's finished. Huey got finished today, and Huey is an automatic solar jewel thief, and that's his final circuit right there. I added another part to his circuit. He's got a little photo cell right here on this uh, first transistor, and that helps him uh, stay off till it gets really, really dark. And uh, I've been playing around with these photo cells, and I've actually made a, a much simpler circuit using these photo cells. And they're a real easy way to go to turn him on and off. But anyway, this is his original circuit, and he's all done. He's very shy. I made him uh, very shy and very conservative with his energy, but he's very, very, very efficient. And he's in there right now. Hi, Huey. You want to come out? Come on. He doesn't really like the light. He turns off when it's light. But uh, there's Dewey and there's Huey. Huey and Dewey. And the way Huey works is Huey doesn't have any batteries. Huey is a strictly supercapacitor um, device. And he's got a 50 farad 2.3 volt supercapacitor and a 10 farad 2.3 volt supercapacitor and um, the way Huey works is Huey's got silicone black hair <laughs> that's his hair right there anyway and he uses that to gather energy from light and um, he's got a setting for the uh, big capacitor or the small capacitor and then a setting for his light and when he senses light he turns on and starts accepting it and that's energy from a light source going into Huey and that's loading up his capacitor now he doesn't turn on until it gets really really dark and I made him that way he's very shy he's very conservative with his energy and he's going to sit in a windowsill that will gather sunlight during the morning hours and then at night when it gets dark watch what happens when it starts getting dark Huey starts turning on his eyes and then he's got eyes at night and he uh, he comes alive at night and only at night and I made him that way he's not like Dewey that you can turn Dewey on anytime you want and run him whatever Huey works at night and when Huey's on right now Huey's taking energy from his 50 farad capacitor he's running the lights and then he's capturing some of it in that 10 farad 2.3 volt supercapacitor so as he runs he's actually gaining some of his energy back not all of it but some of it but as the days go by, he will gather more and more energy into that second capacitor. And eventually that will fill up and I can run uh, Huey off of his second capacitor by flipping that switch right there. So he's an automatic light now. And until something breaks or I drop him or something happens to him, he'll go on and on. Day after day, month after month, year after year. And that's me. I'm Lid Motor, and that's his birth date right there. 33109 is when he was really born. And um, unlike Dewey that has to have batteries uh, eventually, Huey won't. Huey won't need any batteries ever. These uh, capacitors charge and recharge thousands and thousands and thousands of times. And the sun comes up every day. So that's how Huey works. And I'm working on... Uh, Louie right now and Louie is over here. Louie's going to be a little guy, probably a refrigerator magnet type of light. Little Louie. And Louie only has one transistor. 2 and 222 two, two, and one of these little photo cells. And that's all Louie's going to have. He's going to have two super capacitors and one solar cell. And then when the light let's see that or not right now when the light goes off of that photo cell, he automatically turns on his light. So I'll probably make Louie a little different. I'll probably go with higher brightness on Louie. 
than with uh, Huey. But uh, I have a brightness control on Huey. If I want to make him real bright, I can. But uh, he was really made for like a nightlight type scenario and um, kind of a shy, reclusive kind of guy. And uh, what what will happen is he'll he'll come on when the lights in the house go off. He's set to go off when it gets pretty darn dark. Other than that, he'll um, he'll just sit there until it gets dark, and then his his little eyes will come on, kind of like a nightlight. But the thing about Huey is he'll run forever until something breaks. It either will break, or I'll drop him, or something will happen to him. But there's nothing that wears out on Huey. His LEDs go for hundreds of thousands of hours. So do the transistors. They have a lot of cycle time. And then the capacitors, many thousands of cycles on his capacitors. And like I say, every day what happens, I'll just put him in the sun on that windowsill and he'll regain his energy. And uh, that's how he works. Anyway, that's Huey. Huey and Dewey. They're waiting on Louie. <laughs>